Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program Fuckers. And today I'd like to talk about why every collector, every watch collector, needs at least one Rolex in their collection. And I've got to tell you, it doesn't matter if you're a Patek, a Patek person or you love reversos, you've got to have at least one Patek Philippe in your collection. And there's very good reasons for this, because I'd, I'll tell you this now. There's no other brand which is just so usable and versatile. I mean, it's like having Patex or having these Horterology pieces. It's like having a garage full of Ferraris or Porsches. Sometimes you need a fucking Mercedes-Benz to jump into, to go to the shop, to go to the hospital to go places and this is this is the reality fuckers this is the reality you need a watch which is usable dependable waterproof and you don't need to think terribly much and uh, I've had this conversation with my friend Descartes Descartes has had a number of Pateks he had a Patek Travel time, a 5134. He's had a, uh, actually he's still got a platinum 5110. That's the world time. And, you know, he's got a few Rolexes. He's got a GMT. He's got a vintage plastic sub. He's got a, um, he's got an Explorer 2. He's got a really lovely Datejust with factory diamond dial. And... <laughs> You know, the thing is, Rolex is so dependable, so usable, it's so usable, you got to have it in your collection. And, and this is the thing, you know, sure, Hort Horology is, you know, they're, they're fantastic, I love Hort Horology, but you really do need something you can wear every day, without fear of fucking up the strap, fucking up the gold um, buckle, fucking up you know, little things on it there. And Rolex is just so versatile. You just strap it on and wear it. And uh, I, I've got a lot of time for Rolex. Rolex is just so usable. And there was a time where I didn't think Rolex was prestigious enough for me. I'm a bit of a watch snob. And uh, I was saying, oh, Rolex isn't prestigious enough. But I, I got to tell you, fuckers, I got to tell you, that was stupid thinking. And I've come back. <laughs> I've come back hitting it hard and strong. Let me fucking give you the drum. And uh, I'm as happy as, as a pig in shit. I'm so happy to uh, have come back to the Rolex fold. And I, I got some pieces that I really do love. I think these are classic pieces. And... Uh, that's, that's what I love. I love the classic pieces. I've got an Explorer 2, I've got a Subby No Date, and I've got a beautiful Datejust, which I'm wearing now as I'm recording this video. And uh, I've got to tell you fuckers, you want something usable, you want something dependable, you've got to have Rolex in your collection. You've got to do it. You've got to have at least one Rolex in your collection. You gotta do it, and uh, I'm, I'm glad I come back to the fold. I'm back in the fold, and I'm enjoying my watches more, and I love them. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel i doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion.
Jewelers on time, simply the best.